Well, Kieran, not every day you uh, you make a debut. Talk us through it. Still can't believe it. It's surreal. It's what I've what I've waited for all my football in life just to make a debut in front of that amount of fans and. The, when I got called over I, did, I couldn't quite believe it because I, I didn't even hear the gaffer or see the gaffer at first with all the noise from the crowd so Lee the gaffer shouted on Lee and then Lee told me and then I see him wave his hand over to me and I was like felt like the longest run ever going back to the bench like oh my this is happening it must be encouraging though from a, from a young player's perspective that a new manager's come in the door and suddenly he's willing to give all you guys a chance <clears throat> honestly I see the past three weeks since the new managers came in, I couldn't believe it. A few weeks ago, under new man management, under the twenties manager, I wasn't, I wasn't in, even in contention for a, a game there. So I, I was obviously down. I was deflated. Couldn't get a game for the twenties, and then play. I play one good game off the bench. Then two weeks later, get get ninety minutes, and I, I play well. And then on Tuesday night, uh, play well. And the gaffer told me at half time, just keep being positive. Just keep running at him. Just do what we do. Get your cross in and played well, played well when told that in, in the second half and then just thought it was going to be a normal day Thursday, gym in the morning, train in the afternoon in the 20s, get told that I'm with the first team and then after training with the first team on the Thursday the gaff went, you'll play, with us, you'll play again with us tomorrow and then just, I'm just, I literally thought I was trained to make up numbers. Next thing you know after training Friday I was told I'm in the, I'm in the first team squad. He's, uh, he said as well that it's interesting what you say there because the manager said it was really the dev game midweek where he thought your performance there fully merited it and as far as he's concerned if you do well enough you'll be in the oh, squad and it's, it's something that must encourage you and all the rest. Oh, it, the rest of the boys were talking to me about it. It's, they see they, they're so much more motivated now that they see what I've done in midweek. They see that if they can do that they'll get this opportunity and they're, they're buzzing off it as well because the gaffer think if if we can do that in a 20s game, you're good enough to do that in a first team game. So, Lewis Morgan was uh, your sort of direct opposite. He's uh, the sort of form player in the division at the moment, so he didn't seem to be daunted in our face in no, any way, though. Not at all. He was, um, he was the main chap before the game the past two days. Watch this, watch him. And then I seen him in a 1v1 with me, and I just thought, I'll just I know he's going to be tricky. I'll just keep my eye on the ball. And I don't know how I've ended up tackling him, but I'm, I'm not even the best defender I get. I've, I've, I've seen on the other side, I made a winger's tackle, so how. God knows how I made that the one in Lewis Morgan. What was the manager saying to you when you when you put you on? <clears throat> um, just told me to do what I do, be positive. Like Mick told me before the game, if I get on, light just light the place up, do what you do, just run at them. This is what you're good at. And then Mick put an arm around me before I go on, just chatted to me, calm me down, and pretty much said the same again. A great feeling for you today, obviously making your yeah. debut, but uh, it must now given you a, a wee taste of it. Yeah, it's now <clears throat> it's made me want more. So, on to next week now. I just hope, try, do well in training this week and be in that, hopefully be in that squad again next week. So just keep my feet in the ground and just do what I do. Just keep working harder and working harder. And was that a wee quick phone call home at 90 minutes to, to tell the yeah. folks? Well, my mum and dad couldn't be here there. Dad's a mix of devastated and over the moon because he's, he's in Cyprus at the minute. The whole, whole family are away. So he, he can't quite believe he's missed my debut. So first thing I did after the gaffer spoke to us was I get my phone I phoned my dad and he's in tears on the phone to me. Nice thing. But obviously, just just finally, Kieran. Obviously, we move on now. As you say, it's another big game next week. On a personal level, I guess the ambition this week is just to knuckle down in training, stick in with the manager, oh, yeah. and hopefully get in the squad next weekend. Yep, that's completely. I've just this uh, this in the past now, so it's on on to next week now, and just do well in training this week, and hopefully secure a spot on the bench. And who knows, I could even maybe secure a spot in the starting starting eleven. That's the dream. Well, here's hoping. Well, uh, well done on the debut today, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you so much.